With the debut of the Wintry Shackles update comes a free, limited S-Rank selector. This time with the addition of powerful meta-relevant characters along with the existing S-Rank selector pool. Today, I want to provide some insight on them since their release and rate their pull value from a meta perspective for new, returning, or veteran accounts. In order to obtain the S-Rank Selector, you need to hit level 40, which is very achievable with the Mentor or Guide system, and you need to clear 15 missions, such as logging in for 5 days, clearing Pancage or Warzone a certain amount of times, or clearing Event Nodes, to name a few. The S-Rank Selector should be available after the third week. I also want to clarify any selector misconceptions since I forgot to address them in the last free S rank selector video and had to answer the same question like 50 times. So if you're a veteran or returning player and just want to know my recommendations for the new upcoming selector, feel free to jump to the timestamp. For the newer players, let me explain the available S rank selectors. As of making this video, you get two permanent S rank selectors for free on top of this limited one that I'm going to talk about. The first S rank selector is given when you start the game and includes the original five S ranks. From this selector, I recommend picking up Liv Luminance since she's the last of the five that is still used in the top meta team and will continue to be relevant for a long time with her Leap Upgrade Ascension. The second selector is available in the Novice missions, unlocked once you clear the normal story 2-4, and this selector is the same selector that I talked about in the last free S-Rank video. From this selector, I prioritize Rosetta since like Liv Luminance, she is still used in the top meta physical team and continues to be relevant with her Leap Upgrade for the foreseeable future. The Novice Mission Rewards also contain a free 6-star signature weapon selector, so you can pick up Rosetta's weapon as well, which is crucial to maximize her supportive capabilities and damage. Otherwise, you can pick up Luna and her weapon to start up a Dark Team, and then maybe Plume to flesh out an Ice Team. Overall, they're still strong picks, but not as high value or future-proof as Rosetta nowadays. But, since these units are already available in the previous permanent selectors and I've already covered them in my last free S-Rank video, I won't be covering them again. Instead, this video will be addressing the new, limited, free S-Rank Selector that contains all the previously available units in the last selector, as well as some new ones, including Chrome Glory, Vera Garnet, Liv Imperia, and Selena Capriccio. This is based on my opinion on my experience on the Taiwan server, but unlike the last selector, there's no clear better pick. So take this info as you will, and make an educated choice based on your own account. And drop a like and subscribe for more PGR and Wuthering Wave videos in the future. So this poll priority assumes that you have none of the characters and care about the most optimal meta pick. So if you're a veteran player who already has all of these units, feel free to skip to the timestamp for the double S priority. My first highest priority pick if you don't have any of the four new characters would be Liv Imperia. She's the predominant support for the fire team as the team's amplifier class, and I've already explained why amplifiers are so broken in my previous guides, but Imperia really just does too much. In the meta fire team, she serves as both a sub DPS, covering any downtime in the rotation, while also supporting the team by providing healing and attack and fire damage buffs. And if you don't have Lee Hyper Real or Anonymic, she's strong enough to output decent burst damage with easily obtainable A rank units, such as Isla Brilliance or a Leap upgraded Lee Pale Fire. She technically isn't meant to be a primary DPS due to her orb downtime and lower damage compared to Hyper Lee, but she works great to cover the fire element content if you don't have them yet. The main reason why I put her as the top priority is because she has no strong substitute for her role as a fire support. The base A rank fire support, Sophia, is so much worse in terms of utility and usability, it's not even close. And with Live Sleep upgrade later on, she's solidified as a strong future proof pick and my go to recommendation if you don't have her. The next character I would recommend picking up would be Chrome Glory. He's the premier ice tank and is still crucial to the meta ice team's effectiveness with his uncontested ice shred and sub DPS capabilities. And with the introduction of Isla Kaleido as the permanent free amplifier gained from farming the dorm expeditions, Chrome covers her downtime really nicely and makes for a pretty strong meta team. Like Liv Imperia, his base A rank substitute, Cheng Yu, is a subpar tank for off field ice shred and sub DPS damage, and off field ice shred alternatives like Isla Brilliance forces you to bring Lucia Plume or Bambi to also cover downtime for longer fights. So picking up Chrome with his superior ice resist shred and damage is a huge upgrade for the ice team. The only downside is that Chrome doesn't have time stop or high damage as an older generation tank Omniframe, and that's why I rank him slightly behind Imperia in terms of priority. But without him, the Ice Team is a lot less smooth to operate and does a lot less damage. Plus, at the time of making this video, there's no Ice Tank announced, so he'll be meta relevant for the foreseeable future. Overall, a solid pick for those who are lacking him to build up their Ice Team. Next up is the smug and sadistic Vera Garnet, PGR's primary lightning tank. Her uncontested lightning resist shred and strong burst lightning damage make her a powerful member of the meta lightning team. She used to act as a primary burst damage DPS for the lightning team, 
but with the recent debut of Lucia Crimson Weave, Vera has been reassigned to a permanent off-field QTE support, at least for now. Still, if the enemy is left with low HP after Alpha's rotation, Vera's got your back to finish down the enemy. Or me. Or what? Anyways, Vera's downsides are mainly neglected by Crimson Weave's existence, but without Crimson Weave, she can suffer from a lack of time stop and orb downtime for burst damage. And the only reason I don't rate her priority as high as Chrome Glory or Live Imperia, if you don't have them, is due to Vera Garnet having a pretty decent substitute in the base A rank Chrome Arc Light. Still, you cannot go wrong with picking Vera Garnet, she's still very top meta competitive, and picking her up along with the currently debuting Lucia Crimson Weave makes for a very powerful meta lightning team. And with her getting a leap upgrade in the future, she's fairly future proof and worth the pickup. And finally, we have the lovely Selena Capriccio. She's PGR's premier dark amplifier, able to support and buff the team, but also deal significant damage herself in the current meta dark team. She provides strong buffs for the primary dark damage dealers like Luna Laurel or high rank Karenina Shire, while also doing good damage herself, with time stop as a bonus. But, as I mentioned in her guide, Selena needs a lot of investment to reach the point where she starts outclassing her budget alternative, Vera Rosen, in terms of dark damage buffs for the team. In the guide, I mentioned you can farm for a free copy or 50 shards of Selena through the Fantasia permanent event, but since Selena wants triple S rank or 5 total copies to start to outbuff Vera Rosen, it's best to unlock her through a selector or gacha pulls first so you can save those farmed shards to get her to triple S much faster than unlocking her with the shards. Over time, you can get her to triple S through battle pass vouchers, but it'll take months if you don't buy the battle pass. And it's not that Selena Capriccio is a bad unit, she's far from it with the minimal downsides and is worth getting to triple S eventually, it's just that Vera Rosen as a budget A rank is a strong alternative that needs overall less investment for similar supportive capabilities compared to the multiple copies that Selena wants. So, due to these reasons, she's a lower priority than the other characters that I've mentioned, especially for newer players who are trying to catch up, but she's still a very future-proof character being an amplifier along with future quality of life updates. So if you've been waiting for the selector to grab your first copy or want to progress your Selena towards Triple S, don't let me stop you. For veteran players who already have all of these units, I would pick up an extra copy in this priority assuming you haven't gotten a copy from Pain Cage already. The highest priority to get Double S would be Live Imperia to enable easier core passive triggers and increase her fire damage buffs. And basically, since Imperia regularly does sub DPS damage, her Double S is most impactful for the team and its damage. And next up is Double S Vera Garnet, and this is mainly for her swap off passive that drops her QTE flag to support Lucia Crimson Weave. But without Lucia Crimson Weave, she's still the primary DPS, and her Double S provides a lot of quality of life. And next up is Selena Capriccio if she isn't Triple S yet. Again, she isn't really optimal until Triple S for the improved amplifier passive, so it always helps to get an extra 30 shards to get there. And finally, we have Chrome Glory, who doesn't need Double S to function since it basically only adds some damage and a freeze, so he's the very last priority. And yeah, that pretty much covers my overall recommendations for this new S rank selector. The exact priority for your account may be different depending on who you have, so like how I say in every video, it depends. If you have any further questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments below, or you can ask the community discord, we have plenty of people there to help give insight. I also occasionally do viewer account reviews on my Twitch and YouTube streams to answer any questions about account investment more in depth. And if you want to know more about each character, check out my complete guides that I've made for them. And yeah, if you found this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe for more. I tried to get this video out earlier, but these past weeks have been the busiest of my life and I'm really sick right now, so I really should not be recording. But apologies for the wait. Thanks for your patience. I hope this answers your question and thanks for watching. Peace late.